Hello everyone, this is EB the Original Master here, and welcome back to the Jack Smith Let's Play. So in the last video, we finished up uh, Cinder Springs, and today we'll be starting a new level, which is going to be Alpine Ridge. So let's get started here. All right, beware the Frost Feather. So that's going to be the new enemy of this world. So Alpine Ridge um, is actually a snowy summit. Uh, from what it looks like and yeah so we're going to be dealing with um ice themed enemies well a few of them are going to be ice themed but yeah all right so right off the bat we're going to start crafting a spectrum so yeah, let's uh, uh use copper for this one Yeah, that was a little bit bad there. Yeah, I'm not doing a really good job with this pike. Yeah, maybe next time I'll do a little bit better. All right, so we have to craft another one. You know, let's give him a bronze uh, pike. All right, here's the last piece. All right, I think I did a little bit better with that one. All right, another spectrum. Oh yeah, also, um, we also have to do a double X as well. Okay. Okay, we got that done. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, craft this last weapon. Or, well, um, get the order for the last weapon, that is, because I have yet to craft the, uh, the double axe that I have here. All right, we're going to pull that down. All right, there we go. All right, expert handling. Get 100% handle score on any 20 weapons. All right, cool. We got another badge from that. All right, time for us to craft our last... A weapon for this day. Oh yeah, for this part we're gonna be doing days twenty-five through twenty-seven. We're gonna stretch that bow out. We're gonna add this grip. Now let's use this one. Okay, there we go. All right, now it's time for battle. All right, I got a 48, I got 48 rubies um, from that. All 
All right, so first things first, we got this, we got this ice variant of the honey guard enemy. All right, now we got the frost feather, which is the new enemy for this world. We took care of that guy. All right, so we have two enemies left, but I can guarantee that we're not going to defeat this guy. Yeah, this is just has just been a huge running theme where we never end up defeating all the enemies in a certain day, but it's no big deal. All right, so that was day 25. All right, so now I'm about to move on to uh, day 26. Look at the bottom screen, and it looks like we have a Morning Star. Oh, which is a new type of weapon. And a Morning Star is actually another weapon uh, from the Cactus McCoy games. So there's actually um, some. So not only there's not only this game has a not only this game is very similar to the Game Maria games. They also have um, some Cactus McCoy elements too with some of the weapons that the enemies uh, wield. And I need to do a better job putting these pieces together. All right, so next up is a bow. Oh, yeah, we can use a crystal. So yeah, let's use a crystal for this one. This is gonna be our first crystal-based um, weapon. From what it looks like. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add the arrow. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, we got another bow. And we have a double axe. Okay. okay let's give him a gold bow. Stretch this out. Okay, there we go. All right, we got a shield. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I got to scrap it because I accidentally uh, clicked on the wrong way. How do I scrap it? Yeah, can I cancel it? Yes. All right, let's go to double X.
Oh, I got a 100% on the handle. Nice. It's time for us to make our shield. And uh, this will be the last weapon for this day. Yeah, let's use this. All right, there we go. All right, got a 48, got 48 rubies. All right, now it's time for battle. Yeah, sorry if I'm not adding much commentary to, to the battles. It's just, it's just that it's pretty much the exact same thing. Like, you have the, you have your soldiers out defeating the enemies and I don't have much to add. All right, we got the Wolf Crest. Which we've seen this guy before. So the remaining enemies are the frost feathers. there we go all right that will end off day 26 all right so now about to move on to our last day all right we got defroster level 12 all right 58 xp to the next level and yeah these are the new weapon parts that we got yeah you see i don't really need to buy any weapons because you can just collect weapon parts that are out in battle you know all right we got a wing bow which is a, another type of bow, an arrow. All right. I don't care about you, Gander. I don't need to buy any weapons from you. All right, let's see, let's use a wing bow. Right, and let's use this yellow piece. All right, there we go. All right, frequent Fletcher. Get 100% arrow scores on any 20 bows. So we are getting a lot of badges in this video, which is good. Last piece. All right, there we go. Swordsman. Okay. Yeah, let's give him the. Yeah, let's just give him a, a normal um, long sword. Let's use this piece. 
looks pretty cool, I guess. All right, there we go. All right, so we gotta craft another uh, spec down here. Yeah, let's use the crystals for this one. Alright, there we go. Alright, Pikesmith, craft 10 pikes. And let's give him the Gladius. Yeah, I think a pike would have been a cool weapon for the Cactus McCoy series. Like, maybe if Cactus McCoy 3 was a thing, uh, they'll be having enemies wielding pikes. That would have been cool. But no, that game will never see the light of day. So I'm pretty sure that that game did start a development, I guess, but they ended up scrapping it. I'm not entirely sure on that. All right, that was our last weapon. Now it's time for us to do our last battle. Oh, wow, this video is actually pretty long. Wow, this is actually 17 minutes. So yeah, this is probably going to be the longest video of the project so far. Maybe that will all change when we go to the later levels. All right, we got a water stalk. All right, everyone, this will wrap up um, this part of Jack Smith. Yeah, until next time, we'll be doing days 28 through 30. Look at all these new parts that we got. All right, goodbye, everyone. Until next time, uh, see you guys then.